So I've been thinking a lot about the idea of heaven, right? Uh, heaven as in the Christian sense. So let me define what heaven is right now. Uh, I think it's generally accepted that the definition of heaven is that it is a perfect realm after death with no suffering or sadness, where everyone is in full communion and the presence of God uh, and worshipping Him for all eternity, right? Um, and I think that's okay, that's the Christian definition of what heaven is. And I want to I wanna talk about it for a bit because I guess the idea of heaven is intriguing and it raises quite a lot of questions. So I want to preface by saying that if heaven really is true, as in the Christian God is, is true, is real and he's there, then it doesn't really matter whether these questions are answered or not because, you know, if God is, is there, then we just have to trust that his ways are higher than our own and he has his way of making things work even though they seem illogical. Yeah, so let's, let's do three baby questions and three more legitimate and difficult questions. So the first question uh, is, do animals go to heaven? So, I mean, I've heard someone say, I've heard a pastor say that their child asked them, will my dog be in heaven when it dies? And it's an interesting question because you got to think, you know, um, I mean, uh, uh, do animals go to heaven? Do, or, or do animals have souls? And if they do, uh, do they go to heaven? Uh, will you see a bunch of animals in heaven? Or does God just create um, animals in heaven? Like, not, not that they existed on earth and went to heaven, but they're just in heaven, right? And we know that there are mystical creatures and beings like cherubim, you know, and seraphim in uh, in heaven. They, they don't look like the animals we have here. So yeah, I guess interesting to think about whether animals go to heaven or not. The second uh, baby question is, what will our bodies look like? And in what form will it be? Is, is Will it be in the form that we died? So if I died at 80 years old, will I be in heaven uh, in in an old form, if I, if I died when I was 20 years old, but I have this form in, this, in that case, I'd much rather die now so that I live for eternity uh, with, I don't know, more able body, I guess. And if you're missing body parts, you know, will they be, not, will they not be in heaven? Will they be there? Uh, I know in the Bible it says that God will give us uh, newly formed bodies. Um, yeah, he will give us new, new bodies that are, I don't know, enhanced or, uh, perfect and complete bodies, right? So I, I guess that's what it looks like. So, but then w will everybody have the same body? Would it, would it look different? Will we have our own individual features? I don't know, if, if, the, if it's all the same, then wouldn't we just be like, we, wouldn't we lose our sense of identity essentially? Yeah, or maybe, you know, in a very f uh, fictional sense, you can choose what you want to look like. You can have your own avatar, you know, that, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you know, always curious to know what, our bodies would look like in heaven and whether I can perceive someone else's body or it just be like ghosts floating around. Will I have wings, you know, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's that's the second baby question that I have. The third baby question is, um, so if there's a new heaven and new earth, essentially God says that in, in the second coming, right, um, when on judgment day after every, all the souls are judged, um, there'll be a new heaven and a new earth form. It kind of be like like one. It would combine and become like one realm or something like that. Um, that, that I guess that's the new heaven, right? Uh, will the structures that exist on Earth still still be there? You know, will, will I be able to visit this, my school when I'm in heaven? You know, um, yeah. Or will the basic things about Earth still be there? Um, yeah, I mean, it raises quite a lot of questions, but it's quite interesting to see, think about what kind of infrastructure uh, heaven has, and whether it's similar to Earth or not. Yeah, okay. So I've covered three uh, simple and baby questions. Let's talk about more interesting and in-depth stuff now. So the first question I have is, how does love work in heaven, right? Is, uh, I mean, we know that there are four types of love. Um, yeah, phileo, storge, uh, agape, and eros, right? So are all four still present? Because if romantic love is still present, then will my lover still be in present, uh, still be in heaven? Because, I mean, let's say you're married to somebody, right? Your spouse, and you've lived with them for like 60 over years, and then both of you die. And let's say both of you go to heaven. I mean, would you recognize them? First of all, would you still have the same feelings of attraction towards them? Because I know that under, I don't know, I don't know where I heard this from, but I, I've heard that marriage is supposed to be a reflection of the intimacy, uh, and the kind of intimate relationship that you have with God in heaven uh, when you're in full communion with Him. So, you know, what, what is it? 
does it just disappear? Does everything get transferred to God, or, or is it just um, do I still have this exclusivity between me and my former spouse, right after I die? Um, I mean, there's supposed to be no suffering and no hate in heaven. So, does that mean I will love everyone equally? Um, Will I have closer friends? I, I assume so because Jesus did have a closer friend, closer group of friends in, during his time in ministry. So maybe you would recognize some people uh, when you go to heaven or have closer relationships. But then that leaves room for people being excluded and then it wouldn't be so much like heaven anymore. Yeah, you know, it's confusing. Anyway, uh, the second uh, thought or question that I have about heaven is that is there free will? So okay, I know there's a huge debate about free will, but essentially, um, the main argument for free will that I've been able to find is that free will is necessary for love. For because if you take away choice, then there is no such thing as love. There is no voluntary acceptance of another person. And so, since God wants to enter into a loving relationship with the beings that he created, he has no choice but to give them uh, free will. If not, they would just be robots and it wouldn't actually be love, right? And, and then there comes the argument for suffering because why is there suffering if there's still a God? Well, it's, it's because God gave us free will. So free will is the choice to choose him or not to re- which in that case is to rebel, to sin, to cause suffering. And so heaven is supposed to be a place where there is no suffering, right? But if evil exists in the world because we have choice, then if there is no evil in heaven, does that mean that there is no choice in heaven, right? Because, I mean, you can say that everybody wants to obey God in heaven, but then, you know, I do believe it's the case that in between the time uh, that you die and that you go to heaven that there must have been something that happens because you don't become 100% righteous when you um, die unless God kind of overrides your brain right? that's the only way he could make heaven a place without sin so yeah the second troubling thing I guess about heaven and so that leads me to the last thing which is how can you expect to be in heaven if you don't like holiness or communion with God. And so this isn't so much of a question, but more of uh, a challenge to people who uh, who say they want to go to heaven, who want to be in heaven, but don't want to uh, follow the ways of God, follow righteousness, who don't want to be Christ-like, right? How can you expect one to be in heaven, even though you don't want to behave in the way that you would behave in heaven? If heaven is a place of um, holiness and uh, kindness and uh, sacrifice, I mean, sacrifice in the good way, uh, you know, altruism and things like that, but you absolutely despise it in on earth, then what makes you so sure you're going to like it in heaven, right? What makes you so sure that you're you're going to uh, want to to be righteous all of a sudden when you're in heaven? Yeah, so those are my three difficult questions about heaven. So I hope you enjoyed this small little rant, not rant, but um, I don't know, podcast about what heaven could be and what its implications are and the physics of it. And I see again, um, for with what I preface this video with, that if heaven really is true and that the Christian God is true, then it doesn't matter what whether these questions are answered because God is capable he's all powerful and he can well he can do uh, things that are beyond my understanding so yeah i'll see you in the next video bye